back to what we're doing. The reason why I really wanted to record this also is, I don't know if you can see the shape this box is in. Like this box has been taped. The straps have been pulled through the box. Like the box is ripped in half. Like the whole end of the box is ripped off. And this is the uh, Shop Fox dust vac that I ordered through Amazon Prime. And I've been a little concerned with the shape it's going to be. Um, I probably should show you this up closer. Let me zoom in. Then let me get situated here. And we'll take the whole everything over. So you can kind of see the strap is actually pulled through the box. The rest of the strap is in there somewhere. You can see it. It's actually also pulled through the styrofoam. The box has been taped together. It's almost like the whole end of the box come off when they delivered it. And the lady with FedEx, uh, I, I guess I, you know, I'm not so mad that they delivered it late. I'm more mad the condition the box was in when it got here. I was really kind of pissed if you want to know the truth. All right, so we got to get this unboxed and see what kind of damage we're in because this actually showed up last week. And I've just been too busy to mess with it. Like, I honestly just can't believe the shape this box is in. probably need to be careful when I open the box for the simple fact that if I got to ship it back at least Amazon will know what kind of shape the box is in when I received it I mean like all of the foam in there I can already tell it's it's just it's shredded Like all I can do is hope for the best. I can already tell that like this is bent. You know, you, like, let's pull this out. Like this, this come out. bag more broken styrofoam more broken styrofoam Holy crap, this motor is heavy. <sighs> this uh, bracket right here is bent so bad that the, that the paint is cracked. That flange right there is bent. Oh, why is it always got to be me? I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. I'm going to have to take the camera off of this mount for you to really see. I mean, I don't know. It could all work, I guess. It's just... Can 
Uh, will it focus better? Can I zoom in more? Yeah. There, you can, there you can see it. So that is actually the bracket bent. The flange is on the other side is also bent. Let's just go ahead and get it un, undone. So I don't really want to start freaking out too bad, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of pissed it was delivered in that kind of shape. But what can you do, right? Am I still in frame? What can you really do? Okay, I had to switch over to the internal mic because the battery's dead in my in my microphone. So I only see the one place for that. Anyways, off camera, because I'm sure that I lost most of that. Off camera, I tightened up all the screws that I could. There was a couple that I still missed. There's a couple that I need to go back and tighten a little bit more. But what I was saying was, I'm sure you saw the fun I had getting that bag put on. Ended up using a rubber band to hold it up there, get the strap on. So... Everything's tightened down good enough to test this. Um, all I want to do now is I want to get it plugged in and check to make sure that it works after the way that the box come in and everything. So that's really like what I wanted to do was get it together. It don't have to be like all the bolts tight, tight like I would normally tighten them down because I really just wanted to make sure so there's not anything wrong with this um, now if I find out that there's nothing I've ever everything works and it's good to go then I'll finish tightening the other bolts up and that sort of thing well Let's see. Down there's my exhaust. This is the switch. That thing has got some crazy suction. Like it literally started to suck this chain that holds this uh, cap on there in, in. I don't really have any way to like test it, test it. I mean, I... I only bought a uh, 10 foot pipe. So four, four foot, four inches by 10 foot length 
And the reason being is because it's probably going to sit in the corner where the camera's at. And I've only got 11 foot of working area. And more than likely, like, so, so the idea is that I will store the tools I'm not using against the wall. And as I need them, like the table saw I'll bring out here or the joiner I'll bring out here. Um, that would be probably the two biggest pieces of equipment that I have in here. I still plan to get like a tabletop drill press. And that's probably drill press. I might maybe someday, because I used to like do wood turn turning, so I might get a wood turning set up, wood lathe, but that'll probably be tabletop also. So the two stationary machines that I have um, are movable, and that is the jet and the uh, delta table saw. So the jet joiner and the delta table saw. So a 10 foot length should be sufficient, and of course this will do two four inch but I know the table saw is only a uh, two and a half inch. So I got this um, four to two and a half reducer. Of course, it doesn't fit here. They're the exact same size. It's actually made to fit um, in the hose. So um, what I'll have to end up doing is get me another short piece or maybe just cut just like you know six or eight inches off of that hose in order to connect that to there and then I got a two and a half inch hose over there for the table saw this four inch one here though is for the uh, the planer and joiner I actually opened up the wrong knife on this but open and it's working so it's all matters. And I'll probably need to get some clamps also. This uh, hose seems like it's pretty decent quality. I think what I'm going to have to do is probably soak this into some warm water. Because it's just way too tight right now. Oh, that's close. I might have just got it. Nope. Yeah, so either way, we knew that it works. That's all that matters. I mean, that was like the big thing. So, uh, next I'll be putting together the table saw. Probably not going to be tonight because it really only took me, let's see, an hour and eight minutes to put this together. I thought that's pretty decent considering I had no no instructions so what I'll end up doing is I'll push this up to about the area it's going to be at that'll free up a little bit of space I got some trash I got to get rid of once I get rid of the trash a couple things I got to take out to the storage building this will start coming together tomorrow I'll put the table saw together maybe try to get the joiner together too and then uh, once I have the table saw and the joiner together and a little bit more organizing done, then I'll take and start building the bench.